I'm Isaac Theo. <laughs> I started my transition in 2016. I've always known that I was a boy, but when I was younger, my mom sort of, she didn't make me like be a certain type of way. She always just let me be who I was. His mom, seen here with Isaac as a child, is famed singer Sade. My mom is Sade. She's a, a musical artist. She's a legend, so everyone knows her music. But more importantly, she's Isaac's biggest champion. Both my mom and dad were like, just as long as you're happy, it doesn't matter who you are. Just, you know, be who you want. Isaac Theo Adu Watts was born Isla Morgan Adu, the body of a girl, but the mind of a boy, suffering from gender dysphoria. It wasn't a problem or something that I really struggled with until puberty because, you know, that's when everything starts to change. I spent a lot of time not really understanding what was going on. My body was changing and not in the ways that I wanted it to. And I remember always saying to my mum, like, I don't want to grow up because growing up meant turning into someone and something that I wasn't. It was awful it was hell like uh i was really like not very happy i feel like a, a straight man trapped in a like lesbian woman's body and that's when he learned gender and sexuality are two different things for me like it wasn't an option as soon as i finally realized like who i was i was just like okay have to do this, have to do this now. And if he did not transition? I don't think I would be here, to be honest. I mean, I don't think I would be in this planet anymore because it was too hard to live as who I wasn't. It was too much of a fight within myself. So I needed to create some peace and just live for myself. So Isaac's transition began with hormones. I got a beard, my voice got a bit deep, well, got a lot deeper. Hair everywhere. I think I might have got a little bit taller. And he had a double mastectomy in the UK, but for the rest of the surgery, he researched across the globe and found Dr. Chris Salgado online, and he was impressed. Salgado is a plastic surgeon at Palmetto General Hospital. He's amazing. He's very attentive to his patient. Dr. Salgado, with urologist Dr. Edward Geiler alongside him, performed the lower reconstruction surgery and procedures at Palmetto General Hospital. One thing that really upsets me about um, some individuals, they think patients or people with, with gender dysphoria just like woke up one day and decided to be gender dysphoric because it's like a trend or it's cool. But they don't realize that this is like most patients, they feel that they're wrongly gendered from the age of like three. Sometimes I, I try to put myself in their shoes and say, well, what if I would have been born as a girl when I like feel like I'm 100% man and, I, and so, you know, I can understand. It's very rewarding to be able to help people uh, be the way that they want to. The staff and the, everyone that like made it what it was, made it comfortable and didn't make me feel like I was in a hospital in a sense. It, it was like my own little home away from home. So yeah, everyone there is incredible. Good people. After growing tissue from Isaac's arm, reconstructing Isaac's urethra and constructing a penis, the surgeries have been, well, the model of success. You see, Isaac's now signed with a top modeling agency out of New York and is often recognized by his large online following. Also, he met someone more than special online. I loved her from just talking to her at the beginning. She got me through it. She made me laugh, smile. I called my mum and dad up and I was like, I want to marry Emily. What do you think? They were both like, yeah, like, happy for you. Like, we got married in Hawaii. We eloped. Isaac is working with Dr. Salgado and Dr. Geiler for the last portion of his surgery, his implant at Palmetto General Hospital. That's great. Then his transition will be complete. Many surgeries over many years, going through physical pain to fix mental anguish, transitioning to who he was always meant to be. And now, time to focus on what's next. We both don't have children. Emily says five kids. The more the merrier. <laughs> and they will teach their kids to do and be what makes them 
happy. Staying true to who you are is important. I feel like I'm, I'm so close to the end and I'll be able to rest and focus on like the next stage of my life and, and my, like, my relationship, my wife, like building who I am in the world.